So now, welcome to 2024. We are practically in a masterless society. Is masterless. Everybody's their own entity. So now everything has to be recreated. This is a zero point for an entire age, not just a zero point as a state to achieve vibra vibrationally. Zero point has been established. I don't know how wide, you know, maybe at least worldwide. There could be, I'm sure, some heavy galactic implica uh, implications in this. But with zero, with, with zero point, with their effect, with its effect on an ages, though, this what I call a hard reset. And we all remember what a hard reset is. There were some buttons that you had to hold in order to perform what is called a hard reset. This is when you start everything back to factory settings. Whatever your device gadget is, if you do a hard reset, you basically start it from scratch. So now that everything is started off as scratch, the confusion becomes when a world uh, gets destroyed, we don't see how it's automatically rebuilt at the same time. We don't see the clephotic operation of Thomio with the destruction of Universe A and the simultaneous creation of Universe B in a space that is too tiny to be considered time. So we assume that because these things happen in the twinkling of an eye, that it didn't happen. Because we look up, the movies are still there, or are they? We look up, the music is still there, or is it? We look up, and things are different suddenly. But the, the entire process has been happening much more methodically than advertised. It's advertised like, whoa, we just came out with this just now, bang, bang, bang. But if you weren't distracted, you saw all the rough drafts in the late 90s and early 2000s. They're gonna do what? They're gonna do what? We're gonna be able to do what with who? We'll be able to talk to anybody in the world in the palm of our hand and see them and them see us in real time? How they gonna pull that off? Is what we was thinking as kids. That's like Game Boy. That's like, that's like Sega. We only had video game things to reference. We couldn't even call, we couldn't even say uh, anything futuristic was like computers at that time because computers was in a different lane. Those Macs didn't have color yet. Just playing brickles and black, white, and green. Yeah, for anybody who had a Mac back in like 1990, they wasn't calling them Macs. It was called an Apple. Not an eye, nothing. What you got? I got a Macintosh. I got a Macintosh. I got an Apple. This is what we were saying. I don't know if the adults were saying something else. I was like, I was like maybe eight or nine. And it was all, it was all floppy disk action. The hard reset is so hard. But the but the but the hard reset is so uh let's see what what's the what's the it's so overarching right that we assume again that everything is still in play but what that really is is a freeze frame of what we can probably call the everlasting past not just the recent past not saying last year was a week ago the everlasting past 
it's freeze framed in whatever glory it had not necessarily the time of presentation but the time of its glory this is why you have reboot on top of reboot on top of reboot what that means is that that old system where those originals came out that age and that time and that reality and that universe is really gone all of that is part of universe a all of these reboots and remakes and spin-offs this is universe b what they what, what people don't immediately realize in universe b is that you can't base anything in universe b on universe a so if you try to use anything from universe a and bring it into universe b that's the reason why it doesn't work in universe b because this is another universe and the two universes don't work with the same kind of rules the rules of gravity and everything like that temperature aren't even the same in different planets within the same solar systems let alone universes so it's all different this is an exciting time if you're creative but if you're only looking for answers and you don't uh, have any ideas yourself about what you're gonna add you're gonna be instantly overwhelmed because there's a selection overload and all the algorithms are here to do is to point you in the direction that you're headed already it's not the algorithm's fault if everybody likes this everybody likes this if everybody likes that everybody likes that but i guarantee you no matter what you put out <clears throat> if it's good and if you really care about it somebody's gonna like it somebody's gonna like it somebody's gonna watch it even if there's uh, especially because there's um, a quarter billion users on here probably even more than half a billion users at this point now if you're including all of social media let's just say billions of people you know what I mean let's just say billions the hard reset has affected all nine plus billion of whoever or all of us are that are here so the reset was really that strong so the uh, the onus to create it can't be emphasized enough. Uh, we are attempting to emphasize it enough, but as you can see, it can't be emphasized enough. For every creative content creator that's out there that's doing something that's cutting edge, you got fifteen to twenty episodes of something that's that nobody wants to see.